These are the measurements you would need. Hey guys, so this video is going to be really straightforward, so I would watch it all the way through the, uh, for the first time before you start drafting. So I'm just going to draw a straight line and make sure that all my measurements are straight. Then I'm going to measure down my neck depth and mark that point as A. Then I'm going to take half of my front neck and mark that point as B. Now I am measuring my shoulder width and I'm marking that point as C. And then I'm going to come down a half an inch and then redraw my uh, shoulder length line because there's a shoulder slope there that we have to account for and I'm just going to square that line off. I'm going to take a French curve and draw in my armhole and then I'm going to take my apex to apex measurement and divide it by two and I'm going to draw that here. It doesn't matter where it is in relation to the vertical axis, it just has to be there. And then I'm going to draw a straight line through that so I know where it is. And then I'm going to measure from my inner shoulder to my princess seam and mark that line there. Now I'm taking a line, well I'm drawing a line from my princess seam to connect to that line that we drew for the apex at the length of my shoulder to apex measurement. And I'm going to mark a line there and I'm also going to draw a plus sign with a circle so I know that is my apex. And then I'm going to draw a straight line from that, that's going to be our bust line. And then I'm going to take my apex to under bust measurement and mark that. I'm going to mark that under the apex and also on either side of it as well. And now I'm going to take my underbust to waist measurement and I'm marking that as well the same way that we marked the uh, underbust. Now I'm taking my front waist measurement and I'm marking that out from my center front. And I'm going to go ahead and draw a line squaring that making sure that it's lining up with my actual under bust to waist measurement and then I'm going to measure an inch and a half up from my bust line and that's going to be the bottom of our armhole and then I'm going to draw our under bust measurement as well the same way we did the waistline now I'm taking my armhole measurement and I'm dividing that by two and that's how I get the curve of my armhole and I'm just making sure to line the eight up with the bottom and just drawing a line and then I'm going to take a French curve to make sure that line is nice and smooth Now I need to account for the stretch and I almost forgot that uh, I shouldn't have drew the armhole before I did. But I'm going to start with an inch and a half worth of negative ease here at my bust line and I'm going to take a half an inch of ease from my waistline and my underbust. And the numbers here are just, I mean, you just have to really guess it. It depends on what kind of fabric you're working with, but I like to start with uh, a half an inch at the waist and the underbust and then an inch and a half for the bust line and I'm just drawing a line connecting all of those lines and then I'm going to redraw in my um, armhole taking a little bit I take about a half an inch of negative ease from the armhole and I'm going to use my French curve to smooth that out again now you all know I like to keep things neat so I'm going to add another piece of tracing paper and just retrace over everything making sure that my lines are nice and smooth. If you guys are liking this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And also leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys are selling this weekend. I'm going to uh, label my bust, waist, and hip. And then I'm also going to, draw, um, to write out my measurements as well so that I know um, what the measurements for this specific pattern piece is so that if I wanted to alter it or make it bigger or smaller I know how many inches I need to add or take off and then I'm going to go ahead and add the seam allowance I'm going to add one centimeter all the way around and after I did the mock-up, I realized that I didn't need the seam allowance at the side seams. So I just removed the, uh, the seam allowance from the side seams and left it around the armhole, the neckline, the shoulder, and the waistline. And I know I was asked to do um, this same kind of pattern for stretch, the bodice blocks for stretch fabrics on um, the sleeve and the skirt as well and those videos are coming I decided to do them in three different videos instead of one so that um, you guys can just get what you need and you know keep it moving
Okay, so I am writing how much ease I took from each uh, section here, just so that I know um, when it comes to the different kind of fabrics. Okay, so I'm putting a fresh piece of tracing paper to do the back. Now to get the back measurements, I'm taking my circumference of the bust and I'm subtracting it by the front bust and that's how I get the back bust. And I'm doing that as well for the under bust and the waistline. And then I'm going to take all those measurements and divide them by two because this is a half pattern. Now I'm drawing my bust measurement and I'm taking an inch and a half from that like we did in the front and I'm going to square a line and then I'm going to do the same thing for my waist. I'm taking a half an inch and square line. I'm not going to worry about my under bust because there's no bust in the back. So I'm just connecting my waistline and my bust line. I'm drawing an inch and a half line there. Then I'm going to just fill in my shoulder, uh, my shoulder line and my neckline in the back. And then I'm going to draw in my arm hold there. And as we all know, the neck, the arm line for the, the back is always narrower than the front. And then I'm just gonna draw my seam allowance in. And once again, I didn't need my side seam seam allowance, so I ended up removing that after I did my mock-up. And I do recommend that if you could buy a little bit of extra fabric to do a mock-up, so, um, for the project that you're doing that would be great because each different fabric has different levels of stretch so that means you take different levels of negative ease depending on the fabric you're using so it's hard to really guesstimate and here is the mock-up it actually fit really really good and i'm really happy with that like i said all i needed to do was remove my seam allowance there on the side and we are golden i really hope you guys found this video helpful please let me know down in the comments below and if you guys like this video make sure to click on one of these other videos here thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one